A dozen businesses were broken into as protesters filled the streets on Milwaukee's north side. Fox 6's Derek Williams with a look at some of the damage. Broken glass and boarded up doors and windows. Sadly, the scene at several businesses along Fond du Lac Avenue. Daylight revealing the damage done inside. Exclusive 411 left trashed, shelves emptied, and the business is now shuttered. This is everywhere, all over the city. It's just. It's a shame. For Greg Westfall, this isn't the kind of business his glass company necessarily wants. It's been crazy since about 3 o'clock. Um, we've got calls for boarding up windows, vandalism. Friday night was out of control. I've been to at least uh, nine places already since 3 this morning, and um, I think the phone's still ringing. It all started after demonstrators protested the deaths of George Floyd and Joel Acevedo. Everyone was walking down the street. Uh, there was no violence. There was none of this. People were all united. Not wanting to be associated with the unrest that occurred later in the evening, one protester tells Fox 6, protesting should be about peacefully getting your message across. If anyone loot, that's disrespectful. Mo Ramada wished words spoke more than these destructive actions. Everything was demolished inside, pretty much. Looters broke into the food town and liquor, grabbing what they could. They took the computers, they took everything. They took a lot of the liquor department products. Um, they took the tobacco stuff. Ramana says it's not so much about the value of what was lost, but the principle of it all. I understand we're all mad. Nobody's happy about it. Nobody agrees with it. But other people, it's not their fault. Like vandalizing my store, that's what I got to do with it. Sentiments echoed by those who have to help build it back. It was absolutely a terrible thing what happened. And but by carrying on like this isn't going to make it any better. In Milwaukee, Derricka Williams, Fox 6 News.